is the first team who look a little bit like One Direction from the north. It's Ben, Gavin, Johnny, Kieran and John. They're all the way from Newcastle. Please give it up for these guys. They are the Geordie Miners. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Fog on the time. All right, lads and lasses, how are you doing, all right? Come on, you do a little bit louder than that. How are you doing, you all right? Fantastic, right? So, me and the lads, you know, we'll come all the way down from Newcastle with our drink, our little punch, just to show you what we're all about now, right? Since the mines are closed, you know, these days, it's not easy, you know, finding work. So, what we've done is now, collectively, we've all become mixologists, right? So, what we do is we basically get kind of few ingredients like we're going to do today, put them all together, obviously with a little bit of rum as well, and then there you go. Loads of rum. How much uh, rum, Ben? Get loads, get loads of rum. Fantastic, all right, nice one. So, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, the guys are going to muddle a little bit of ginger in there as well. And uh, just before we start clearing, I think the judges need something. Oh, uh, excuse me, guys. Do you want to bring them down for them? So, uh, well. Have you got your licenses? Oh, that one I'm working. Have you, uh, have you got your licenses? By any chance? Not yet. Oh. Right. Oh, sorry, not yet. You got any licenses? No, we don't, not yet. Sure, man, you got any license? You need a license. Oh, like, hey, need a... Drinks for you, mate. Need drinks for you. Everyone needs a license if uh, they're drinking uh, Newcastle. You're going to have to sort us out. Do you have, yes. do you have a out, yeah. uh, sort us out? License. Still checks, still checks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Under the hat. Excuse me, messy hair, mate. I've got one for Ian. 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 That's me. Cheers, gone. mate. Cheers, mate. That's your Ian. That's triple E N. You spelled Ian. it wrong. Ian. I told you. Ian. 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 And now I've got one for Sarah. There you go. Well. I want them to know how much it costs, like you know. Unbelievable. Anyone need a rum? So, um, fantastic. So, uh, how are you just getting along there with the drink, there, guys? Fantastic. So, um, so basically what we've done is um, we went down to the pit just before it closed and we got a little bit of curl, all right? So there we are. Uh, this is uh, War Cheryl, Cheryl Curl, all right? So basically to keep something curled, you need to put in curl. So that's what we're doing here. So some of the uh, Fenderman's Curiosity Cola, which is one of our uh, local drinks there, which is brewed in Hexham, which is about 10 miles west in Newcastle. We're going to be using that uh, to lengthen the drink there as well, okay? So obviously we've also freezed that uh, as well. So um, just John missed out a little bit there, just obviously we couldn't get through to him. But a little history on Brugal. Um, well, basically, obviously, it's founded in the Dominican Republic, top selling rum there, okay? And it was founded in... 1888, uh, which is Geordie for 1888. Okay, fantastic. So the guys are going to get a little bit of orange peel in there as well. Fantastic. Lovely. So the reason why we're using the, uh, the Fenderman's Curiosity Cola is the main reason that, you know, it's got a lot of uh, molassal qualities, or as we say in Newcastle, molassily. So it's keep molassily. Keep molassily. No, 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 not your lass. Molassily. Like the rum, no, like the rum man. Not your mum, the rum, all right? Fantastic. So the guys are going to get all that muddled down. Give it a little bit of a shake in that as well. Hang on, you forgot some bit. What's that? Have you, have you forgot the Wallum? The what? You know the Wallum? Oh, the Wheelum. Aye, 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 aye. I'll grab a bottle. I'll grab a bottle for the judges. There we are. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is, is use this Wylam Red Kite. Okay. So this is a local Scotch beer. So Brunel is a thing of the past, to be honest with you. Okay. So the, it's not made in Yorkshire, man. Shut up. No, bro, well, Brunel is technically made in Yorkshire now, right? So it's not from Newcastle, but this is the proper stuff. So Wyland Brewery has been going since uh, 2000. So that's at least six, seven years ago, okay? And they do ruby ales really, really well. So you can have a little look at that there if you want. Uh, basically what we've done with that, because Ben's the posh one, right? He's the only one that actually has work and gas in his house. He's actually uh, reduced it down to a syrup as well, okay? So uh, used a little bit of brown sugar. 
Oh, a reduction, sorry, we're in London now. Uh, it's a reduction uh, of the Wylam syrup, okay? So uh, that's what we've done with the Wylam. We've got a little taste there for you as well. I'll grab that. Obviously, it's Geet syrup you like, so watch out. There we are. Fantastic. So that's been cooling down uh, overnight. Freshly made there as well. Ah, oh, right, you put the bitters in now, like, aye, aye, sound, sound. So what we've done is, because, you know, all this, like, London mixologists, just, they, they all put, like, bitters in their drinks and that sort of thing as well. And the only bitter that we know is, obviously, Newcastle Brune. So, oh, beautiful, beautiful. So the only, uh, obviously, bitter we're used to is beer. So uh, we're using a little bit of uh, Gaz Reagan's orange bitters, okay? So that'll bring out the orange peel. Um, it'll really, really bring the drink together and add to that caramel quality. And we're also using dandelion, uh, dandelion, dandelion, dandelion? dandelion and burdock bitters. Too many, D, too many Ds and Bs. So basically, we're adding that to the drink. Um, that's going to bring all of the flavors of the cinnamon out as well, okay? So the guys are just going to strain that. We don't want any like uh, bits of ginger in your face, like Kieran. You what? Aye, aye. Aye, aye. It's his nana's cold bucket, apparently. But we all know uh, he doesn't need a cold bucket because he's got central heating now. All right. Fantastic. So the guys are going to strain that in there. Lovely. And as mentioned, uh, we're going to use the Fentiman's Curiosity Cola. Even though I've been talking and waffled on for ages, I've actually got. Uh, I've actually got the recipe here as well. Sorry, it's a little bit mangy. We keep things in our hats. We've got no bags, you know, like we're not that posh. I know. So basically, this is uh, the Coal House Punch, right? Which is a drink that we'll put together. It's but it's pronounced Carl Hus Punch, okay? But for everybody else, it's Coal House Punch, okay? Fantastic. Take me flat cap back there. How are we getting on with the drink there, guys? All right? Double crush, man. Double crush, we're pretty much done, guys. This drink is pure waxer. Okay, pure waxer is a term, uh, basically means very good, okay? So uh, the judges will find that out there in a second. Yeah, we've got the tankets ready there to serve that in. Treat, I know you've got your swanky restaurants down in London and all that, and you see, we're not used to that sort of thing, uh, obviously in Newcastle. So we brought the best down for you, okay? So I'm just going to put a few... Uh, few bevnaps down there and I've got a few little tricks in my bag here all right black and white bag obviously standard right okay I know I've got a uh, sort of curly fingers but don't don't worry about that they are they are clean okay so we got a little mini sausage roll there okay one for you in lovely and Sarah one for yourself there as well okay and then we've got the ultimate guys all right so you know we're not talking fagua we're not talking Chateaubriand, Normandy chicken, that sort of thing. We're talking steak bake from Greg's, okay? The ultimate pasty, right? This is our staple diet. As you can tell, we're all pretty healthy looking guys, all right? So if you've never been to Greg's, get yourself there quick, right? That's, I th yeah, I think you've got it's, it's, it's actually, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, is it? Oh. If it's anything above zero degrees, it's classed as hot where we're from, in, all right? So there we are. Would you? <laughs> I know, in some places, cooked dinner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're just going to ladle it in there for you as well. Lovely, lads. Lovely, lovely. So the, so the idea of the punch came, obviously, you know, Newcastle's synonymous with, uh, obviously, you've got Geordie Shaw now as well, and, and things like that, you know, and, uh, you know, the scene's not looking too great, so, you know, we've taken the things that were already there, and what you call zhuzh them up a little bit, okay? Zhuzh them, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, we're the Geordie Miners and that is our coal house punch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Please give it up for Cheers, the Pat. Geordie Miners. There you go. Was uh, just better than the Geordie Shore, I'd give it you. Nobody even look for you, clap it now, we're not going to stop jumping till the people let drop. We have the chickens, I'm we have the